What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a review of this app called Disc Recorder. So this app can actually record your dis the display of your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Um, you, I think you need iOS 4.3 or later, but most of you probably, I guess, or I assume already has iOS 6, so that's no problem. But, so yeah, basically, uh, I'll show you the settings at the end, but one thing to add, this app has actually been pulled from the App Store, but I still have it because I paid for it when I was still in the App Store and I kept it on my phone. Because, so, and I, <laughs> I paid $5 for it, but, I, and I still have it, and it's synced with iTunes on my computer, so I can still get it back if I delete it. So... Yeah, that's a good thing, but yeah, anyways, if you're looking for this app, let's say you're watching this review and it's off the App Store, I'll be showing you a way to get it for free. Now, one quick tip, if you do that way, do it at your own risk, because I don't know, I'm not sure if it's legal or not, but I'm just, if you really want it, just, if you really want to get this app, well then, the way I'm going to teach you how to get this app for free, use it at your own risk. So now I'm going to be, if you play like Minecraft PE or let's say you're doing blockheads or any app you want to record, like here you want to record any app, you want to do gameplays of it, uh, if, if you watch my channel daily, you, pr you probably want to record Minecraft PE if you have it for Let's Plays and stuff. So yeah, what you want to do is... Here are the best settings that I use to have the mo minimum lag and the best quality. So the record settings don't don't really matter unless well the first one that's that really matters because if you've got if you if you do video only you'll only do the video. So yeah, um, I don't know if it cut me off cut my audio off when I hit video only. I think that's for the next recording I do. I don't know. But, so yeah, of course you want to do audio and video, unless you don't want to. I don't know why you'd not want to, but anyways. Then, max duration, unlimited, you can do unlimited, one minute, it doesn't really matter. But, here is when the important things come, video settings. And, for me, I have an iPhone 4, and in the tips, it actually says that when you record something that uses OpenGLS, like Minecraft PE, if you do capture method as direct access, Sometimes for some devices and for some, for some, yeah, for some devices and some um, products or apps, I mean, when you record Minecraft PE or any app um, game on your iPod while using direct access, the screen will be black. So they say to use screen capture because that will make it, that will fix the problem. But for me, and actually for my iPad also, I use direct access actually works for my P and actually direct access causes less lag. So like if you're just doing just recording a web browser like Safari on your phone, use direct access because it, it doesn't record a game. But for me when I record Minecraft, I can still use direct access and it won't be a black screen afterwards. So yeah, and actually it, it causes less lag. So yeah, if your device is compatible compatible with using direct access while playing Minecraft or um, anything, that's good because it causes less lag. But if, like, if if you have an iPod Touch, for most iPod Touches, that problem does happen. So there will be a little bit of lag. So you, if you if that does happen, like the black screen with the direct access, you need to use screen capture. But unfortunately, that causes some lag. So that's why some people don't like disc recorder for the lag and the video quality. Here, this is the video quality I recommend for recording Minecraft. It's medium, all right, because medium and high look like exactly the same. Low is the, it kind of looks. Sometimes it turns bad quality and then good like to medium. But maybe if you have a really slow device, then I maybe you you want to do low, because it causes less lag. But for me, medium works perfectly. Medium and high both look the exact same, so I I recommend just using medium. And then video size, full size, and now I know, actually, for some iPads, like the, for my iPad, it does not say full size. It only says half size and quarter size. So that really sucks because, like, full size actually, 
the if you don't know what full size and half size and quarter size and all the things is, it's basically uh, when you record what you see while you're recording, like you, that is what's playing. But if you do half size, what you see, like you'll be playing Minecraft normally, but when but the playback, like once you have hit stop recording and you watch your your video, the app will actually cut down the quality to half. So. You're, you're playing totally smooth. Well, if you're on half size, you're playing totally smooth, but you watch the video fidgety and laggy, half the size, half your quality. But full size is what it, what you record on and what you play in real time. That's what that's what's happening in the recording. So that's what I recommend. So then you can see if it's laggy or not. Because if you're on half size, you'll think it's smooth. But really, it's not for the people who you're actually giving the recording to. And the last thing is video orientation. You can choose if you're doing a portrait game like Temple Run, you do portrait. But I just do auto because I start off like right here. I start off either like this or like this. Right now, it's kind of not landscape to you. But yeah, so I start off my I start off this this recorder like this. I quickly switch to Minecraft and then. Because that's auto. Alright. Or you can just do... Um, you can do landscape, up, landscape, landscape, upside down, portrait, or portrait, upside down. Just do auto for now. So, yeah. And the audio codec, I can recommend the first one, linear PCM. Apple lost less. I think it's, for me, it's better quality. But it makes the memory a bit bigger. And, yeah. So, I just... Because there's barely any difference in the quality. Apple Lossless may be a bit better, but, you know, linear PCM, barely a difference. Sample rate, the highest. Number of channels, two channels. Alright, and these don't really matter. <laughs> That's basically, the video settings are basically the most important. So, for recording Minecraft, these are my settings. To cause the most minimum lag. Direct access. Medium quality full size and video orientation well that doesn't really matter i just put it in landscape or auto or, or whatever i want so yeah those are my settings but unfortunately unfortunately these settings might not work for you because if you have an ipod touch the black screen thing may happen so yeah thank you guys for watching and coming up will be how to get this recorder for free again do this at your own risk oh by the way you need a computer for this so yeah, and total it's totally free, everything is free. So yeah, thanks for watching. Alright, so to get um this recorder for free, since it's been pulled off the app store, what you want to do is go to the first link in the description. It is a Mediafy link. And it will take you to sorry. It will take you to this page. Right here. Wait, let me, let me try that again. It'll take you to this page right here it's a pp-pc2.rar you want to download that of course you need Renoir for it and to, to install Renoir just search Renoir and Google do that your simple installation process or WinZip or 7-zip whichever one you have but it is a RAR file so you actually do need to have Renoir for it sorry so once you've installed that and I, I recommend you put it onto your desktop it should be right here pp pc Two dot rar you open it up oh and you need to have your device connected close that and you want to open up ihelper.exe right here make sure you don't drag out and yeah windows firewall will block do, just hit allow access all right so do you need to okay no 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 stop stop what am i doing you can just exit out of that so it will say your phone thingy my bob and what you want to do is you go into this home sub with the house you go into this the app the, the hand holding the apple the one that's in red okay go to the red one and you want to search right here disp right there disp and then the first thing on the lit on the list right here should be disc recorder. So what you want to do is actually let me delete disc recorder from my, from my phone first. 
I don't think I have anything important on that, do I? Nope. Right, so wait, one sec. I'm just doing this recorder from my phone. Um, so then I can reinstall it just for the sake of this video. Disc recorder, delete there. Alright, so what you want to do is go into it. And some of you might have this problem where if you install an app from here, um, yeah, so I'm going to install it. All right. And if you have this problem where once you, if you open up the app and then it asks for your Apple ID and, and your password and then just crashes, uh, there's actually a fix for that. If you just hit this button right here, just wait for it until it, you just hit that blue button in the top right corner. And once you're in the app. And then just wait, wait. Yeah, it should be gray afterwards. So once you've oh, actually, I've already done it. I'm installing disprecorder.ipa right there. And sorry, I did kind of fast, but what you want to do is go back here. Oh no. Yes. Sorry about that. All right. Oh, man. Sorry. All right. It's something just happened. So, anyways, you want to go? You search for disp recorder, disp, and to actually install it, I, I you probably saw me did it. You can either g hover your mouse over and click this button on the left. Okay. Make sure you hit that one. Oh, I wonder what this tab. I think. And you search for disp. All right. Then you go over, do the one on the left. Or you can just go to disp recorder. Go down here and hit this install button. Then once you've installed it, whichever way, it should pop up in this menu. No, it should be in this one while it's installing. And then once it's done installing, it will be here. And then you have it right here, disp recorder. All right. Next thing to put it on your phone is you want to hit this green arrow right there. And it's just a check mark disc recorder your iPhone or whatever you um, put on, uh, whatever you've connected. And boom, once it says that, it should be on your phone. Let me check if the fix worked, if it doesn't do. And yeah, it's all fine and dandy. It's working now. And it is on my phone. And yeah, that is how to install this recorder for free since it's been pulled off the App Store. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helped all you guys. Um, if you really want this recorder, and um, if you don't have a jailbroken device, and this is a great way, a free way to record your Apple device's screen without a computer. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped. Peace out.